Hello, I'm uh, Richard Pampton, Managing Director of Trumington Farm Company, um, owner of the Trumington Estate. Since 2007 we've planted 63 acres of native broadleaf trees and over 12 kilometres of hedgerows. Being so close to Cambridge we have a lot of public access and there are a number of reasons that I wanted to improve the planting across the farm, both for amenity purposes, for biodiversity, um, for helping flora and fauna um, and also providing windbreaks from a farming perspective as well. What I've done is I've looked at the, uh, the farm on plan and both on the ground and we've been looking for areas that may flood, for example, or awkward field corners where it's awkward to turn farm machinery. The River Cam uh, runs uh, uh, adjacent to the farm for a couple of miles. So what we've done is we've planted up awkward field corners and shelter belts adjacent to the river, um, which help prevent uh, soil erosion uh, and runoff. They also provide a wonderful windbreak, which again can improve crop productivity on certain sides of fields. We have a far prettier landscape than we used to. It used to be very prairie-like when I came back. So as the trees mature, you get more biodiversity into the woodlands, in place in terms of flora and fauna. We have regular bird counts going on, carried out by the BBO. We also have uh, put in a biomass boiler. When we put the biomass boiler in, we decided that it was cheaper to plant our own biomass, willow coppice in this case, as opposed to buying it in. So we've planted 30 acres of willow coppice across the farm now on fields that historically have flooded. We will use what wood chip we produce ourselves. It's stored in an old grain store, which is close to the boiler. Um, and the whole process is very straightforward. I would say uh, consider it in detail. There are huge benefits to trees, uh, both in terms of visual amenity and the environment, but also the enjoyment that the trees provide. And what you're leaving is a legacy for future generations.